no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to yet another video on Newbie Farm. So as you can see here, I have a sprayer. Um, turns out that the John Deere was not quite working the way that I had wanted it to. So I just went ahead and got this sprayer and I hooked it onto the 1466 here. And then we have the uh, twin 26 sitting right here with the John Deere planter ready to plant some soybeans. But we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of our spraying first. So we will go ahead and uh, take care of that. So uh, hopefully this goes by kind of quick because if it does then what I'll do is I will just do all of this spring work in this video. Um, basically what I'd like to do is I'd like to have tomorrow we are harvesting uh, versus weeding again and all that boring stuff like that. Um, so that way we've got two videos of the spring work and two videos of harvest. That should kind of do kind of work pretty good I would think so uh, we'll fertilize these fields and then we'll go ahead and get the soybeans planted I think okay let's see here what I'm gonna do is I will will fertilize these two fields here and then I'll cut the video and I'll fertilize field eight over there or whatever it is the canola field and then we'll come back and we'll plant the soybeans and the um, uh, the corn and then I'll do the rest of the fertilizing off camera so that way tomorrow we are working on the harvest and you know hopefully over the next two days we can get all of the harvest done never have looked what is the so I do have the sprayer add-on ma uh, mod I don't exactly know what it does though I haven't used it yet so what exactly it does I don't particularly know I did clean up the top of that field there with the drill uh, I just had to go like uh, alongside of the hill and stuff like that versus running the way that we were. Um, basically I had to run north and south instead of east and west to be able to uh, plant that little snip up there. Uh, and somebody told me in the last video that uh, there's actually this map's been updated quite a bit uh, from this version it's even been soil mod ready um, but that's okay uh, I do appreciate let you let me know that though um, but I'm probably not gonna switch over to it just because I mean this is just gonna be a couple video series um, if I do decide to where um, I'll be running this alongside with URMV then maybe I will uh, update to the other one but for the time being, come on, tractor. But for the time being, I'm just going to stick to this one here. Um, for now, at least. Although I don't really think that I'll be doing this and Upper Mississippi River Valley at the same time because uh, I've been playing some this morning on Upper on UMRV doing a save game. Uh, that I won't be recording on uh, that one I'm just setting up I'm basically running like a large operation on that one um, you know two big combines big discs all that stuff you know big old sprayers and all that uh, overall it's about six or seven million dollars worth of equipment that I bought so you can, that kind of gives you an idea that 
it's no small operation, that's for sure. Uh, I'm covering three farms just to have enough storage for all the equipment and all that stuff. It's just insane. And just playing a little bit, even with the large equipment, I can tell that it's going to be a full-time operation uh, just running some of the small stuff. And we won't exactly be running as small as we are here. Like, I will not be running the same... Um, like the same tillage tools and cedars and that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm definitely going to find a little bit bigger of setups to be uh, running there because they won't exactly work all that great. Um, we're gonna have have to overlap quite a bit here. Okay, maybe we will fertilize that other field as well, because this is going by pretty quick. A lot, a lot quicker than I thought it would. Which this field, these two fields aren't very large either. Uh, and that is field, I think that is eight, yeah, field eight's not very large either, it's just kind of longer. Not an awful sprayer model. Not very American either, but gets the job done. Wish you could go a little bit faster, but I guess it's okay the way that it is. Yeah, I was trying the weeder out. I don't know, maybe it only works if the crops are up a little bit. But I'm not really going to wait for that. Um, because, you know, it it's a longer process. I'd like to just get the fertilizing done right now. Because my hope was that I could just plant and then run the weeder across. But evidently you can't. I don't know. I've never used them. I only use the sprayers and the fertilizer spreaders all the time. Uh, and I mean, I've used the weeder once during a tutorial. And now that I think about it, I don't even remember how exactly it was. Like if the crop was grown. But I mean, oh well. I don't really use them. It's a little bit faster to use a sprayer or a fertilizer spreader. Especially when it's like the self-propelled ones and stuff. Go ahead and we'll get this folded up. And we'll move on over to field 8 here. Not exactly sure how long it's going to take us to plant with that little planter. We may only do uh, one crop on camera and do the other one off camera. A little closer to that tree than I thought. And I guess another thing that I could do as well is I could just spray those two fields now. And then, um just plant over top of it but I'd rather spray afterwards I mean like that little bit of overlap there that I just did that I'm not really worried about but eh, I'd rather not spray the entire field <clears throat> let's have to see how long it takes to plant I guess and hopefully it doesn't take too awfully long do have 1.6 hours on this tractor already. I don't know how many hours are on the uh, 1026 there. I would assume probably pretty close to the same, if not more. Because uh, it this has only this plowed and then now spraying. And the other one has 
cultivated and seeded three fields. So it's probably quite a bit more, I would assume. So one more pass with the sprayer here and then we can uh, park it over by the other tractor for now. really needed to go program a button. I said that yesterday too. I just haven't haven't programmed a button for HUD hider on my steering wheel or anything yet. Really need to. Okay, so we'll just drive it over here and tab over to the other tractor. Right there should be just fine. Alright, and we got it lowered already. Actually, it would plant pretty fast, so. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And try and get a little better lined up if I can. Jeez, I'm planting way off here. Just hurry up and take the screenshot. <laughs> about what it uh, amounts to there. So we can raise that. I think actually the row units, or not the row units, the ridge markers, that's what I meant to say. I think they actually work on this planter. Yep. Whether or not they're actually lined up correctly to where you can actually follow them, that I really don't know. They seem to like n almost never actually work like the way that they would in real life. Like in real life, they would, they would be lined up where you could follow them and actually plant but in game you're not always so lucky I guess there's some headlands here Put the marker down here and we'll see uh, coming back what it's like. It's really not doing a whole lot for plowing stuff up either.
Uh, it kind of works. Not bad, actually. One more and then uh, actually I think I may actually plant the field this way I think that's what I'm gonna do so we'll go down to the end here and we'll do three passes down on this end or two actually we only need two three is a little excessive anyway that's what the plan was on this end here I was gonna plant it going the other direction but I think we can plant it just fine this way. So I keep getting people that keep continuously asking for me to like send them the internationals or where they can find them or whatever and all that. And I've said it a couple of times now. Um, all of the mods that I'm using here right now on this save game are either from Farming Simulator Anarchy or from uh, Small American Farming parenthesis Farming Simulator. That's where you can find all of this stuff, as I've said before. There are Facebook groups. Go to Facebook. Go to the search bar. Type it in. You'll find it. Send a join request admins want to accept you they'll accept you if they don't well then I can't help you uh, it's not my control of who gets in the group and who doesn't I'm not an admin admin of either group so um, it's not at all up to me so you guys can uh, just patiently wait or whatever uh, there's you know, there everything's in the pin post. If you're on a PC, it's the to post at the very top of the page. Look through the comments of it; you'll find the links. Um, if you're on mobile, at the very top of the group, it'll say pin post. You just go to that, and again, look through all the comments. Um, pretty simple. I downloaded all of them, all of the links that uh, you know all the old iron links that were posted so what is in what anymore I don't know I mean it should say I'm pretty sure it said old iron AC old iron JD old iron IH old iron case whatever and you just gotta look through them figure out what's what what you want all that about all there is to it But I'm not going to just sit and hand out the links to them. I had to go find them. You can too. Just like everybody else has to. So. I know there's some people that don't like being told that. But that's how life goes. You know, just get handed everything. Because I've had many, many people just totally freak out on me over that. That I didn't send the link to them. That I... You know, just told them what it is and said to Google it and blah, blah, blah. But it's what I had to do. It's how I find stuff. If I'm looking for something particular, I'll go to Google. I'll put in FS17, what I'm looking for. And if I can't find it there, it's probably not released or else it's released somewhere else. Like, not a mod site. It's released maybe in Facebook or something like that. Facebook stuff doesn't always get put out on mod sites. A lot of times it's only on the Facebook group or page that it was released on. So 
So we'll see what we're doing for time here uh, after I get this field done. Maybe we can just finish everything in this video. I want to try and keep this one a little bit shorter than I did yesterday. <clears throat> I want to try and keep around that half hour mark, if at all possible. I know it's not always possible, but I'd like to do whoa, I'd like to do my best to keep it there. A little wild on that turn there. Maybe do a, be a little bit faster if I'm going to use the row markers. Ah, there's no point though. The planter is planting almost directly beside it. Doesn't seem to get dirty though. I, mean, I guess that's no big deal, but... It kind of sucks when things don't get dirty or they don't do it correctly or something. Like where... I've seen some things where just the wheels get dirty and the rest of it doesn't. That's kind of annoying. I mean, you'd think by now people would know the exact concept for dirt. I mean, it's pretty simple. You just gotta make sure you only have one material. And it's a couple lines in the mod desk and XML files. And then a couple of textures that you apply. And a shader that you apply in Giants Editor, and that's about it. But then again, like some things, it could be their conversions or like, you know, just something using pre-made textures. Well, that shouldn't make a difference though, usually. But sometimes I guess it doesn't always work, but in most cases it's not too difficult to add it. Like this planter, I think, is a conversion, so it's probably just set up, you know, in a way that isn't exactly specced for 17, or maybe it wasn't for 15, who knows. Or else it just has a very high um, number for its speed of getting dirty. I've seen that before too, where it's just like a super high number. So then it takes like forever to get dirty and stuff. Cause I've seen ones where it was set like at 300 or something and that just took forever to get dirty. Um, a lot of times like on my mods I set it to like 30 usually is what I set it to. Or on things that I edit so that it wasn't taking forever and stuff. Or things that like weren't set up for dirt but had the ability to be that kind of stuff I usually set it I was usually setting it at 30 sometimes the mod it would like kind of work a little bit differently than um, you know other ones and I'm driving through the hedge uh, where like 30 on one mod would be you know about the right speed and then 30 on the next one it'd be like forever or you know on the next one it's like super fast I don't know it just kind of depends I guess I haven't decided what I want to do for my first like mod project for 17 I mean I have a map project going already but I haven't decided what I want to do for the first mod that I make for it um, I know eventually I want to make uh, a rouse 18 foot double mower like what we use in real life I want to make that to use on my map for making hay and stuff um, but I'm not quite ready to start with that yet uh, I'm thinking of doing maybe like a cattle trailer or something like a, a gooseneck livestock trailer for a pickup 
think that'd be uh, probably a pretty good thing to start off with or I know it's kind of stupid but I kind of like to have a camper and I know there was a weekend warrior camper released but the thing doesn't work at all it doesn't even buy for me I don't know if it was a conversion error or what the issue is with it but uh, I don't know I kind of like to maybe model a camper or something just because it is kind of neat to have something like that just for the realism effect you know where you'd have a camper or even if maybe on my map I might throw in a campground or something and then have like a use for it you know, I can pull it to the campground or whatever and have like a weekend away or something I don't know something stupid like that something simple is what I want to start off with just kind of learn the basics of it of the scripting for 17 you know, something where I'm just scripting in the lights and then the basic you know trailer and then you know with a livestock trailer I'd also be scripting in the ability to load and unload and haul and then have the you know animals show up in the trailer and whatnot maybe some animations as well of like opening doors and whatnot I don't know. Something. I haven't decided yet. Uh, probably go look on like Tractor House or something or some manufacturer website to see what uh, what's out there. Get some ideas of stuff. Alright, that's going to do it for the soybeans. So we can change to corn. We'll take this to the yard and fill it because there's nowhere near enough we use 70% on this field and it's about the same size as the other one so there's nowhere near enough seed left in this planter to uh, plant the corn field. kind of like playing with this dynamic exhaust effect here. Kind of need to just let off the gas, push it, and it just blows black. Or just drive up a hill and it'll blow black too. It's another way to do it. So we'll get this refilling. And then, um, let's see, what are we at for time here? 28 minutes. So I think what I'll do is I'll plant the cornfield and finish the fertilizing off camera um, and then come back when it's harvest time uh, I mean on a normal series I wouldn't really skip this much stuff but just for kind of a filler series and something that I kinda wanna just get stuff done on and get things shown uh, I can't get into it that way um, you know, just for the speed ability the, I don't know. Just to try and get through things, I'd kind of like to uh, do it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the GPS. Uh, I'm just going to bring this down to 6 meters. Slide it over. But uh, yeah, so I think that's just going to do it for this video, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, uh, my upload schedule, as well as links to some other cool YouTube channels, uh, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. There we go. Um, oops. But alrighty guys, that's going to do it for me for today. Um, tomorrow we will start on the harvest on this map and get uh, cracking on that. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.